Hello, welcome to episode 16 of our Timberborn update to Let's Play with the Iron Teeth faction. Last episode, we put in a couple of improvements over here. We put in a whole bunch of other stuff here to connect up to our power grid, added a couple more of these bakeries, got the golems working a whole bunch of jobs because I think we have, yeah, we have 67 golems, including 11 unemployed. We're going to find spots for them to uh, slot in today, assuming we can have the uh, right amount of science to unlock the rest of these things. And then we did a couple other improvements as well as adding in this little aquatic farming area over here. So things that we want to tackle in today's episode is maybe doing a couple of improvements to this canal. We're going to get a little bit more clarity on this project right here, getting everything set up the way it needs to be for that. And then we're going to do a little bit more improvement over here. Not necessarily in that order. I might skip around a little bit, as uh, anyone who watches these videos will know very, very well. And we're going to try and get jobs for all these golems, improve our production, and work toward getting more power stored up, because we have these gravity batteries that are doing a great job at uh, not being completely empty. But as we uh, grow our power grid, we're definitely going to need more power. And that is why I have this thing kind of uh, starting up right here. It's going to take a long time to build this because we're still waiting on these guys, beavers right here, working to demolish all these trees. Well, harvest them so we can use the wood because we're definitely going to need it. And they're going to have to build all of this. Uh, we're trying to see if we can have a viable power generation by forcing water from these reservoirs all the way down through this kind of snaking thing and seeing just what we're able to do with that. So it's probably going to be kind of an annoying thing to keep up with. It's going to depend on how we have our stuff set up. I'm not entirely sure what the best way to go about it is going to be, because we're going to have to have power connections on this side of the thing here. And we're going to have another row of these Water wheels kind of backing up to it. It's kind of hard to visualize right now because I don't have the stuff to kind of clip this into. But it's probably going to end up being a thing where we have at least one more block in between them. Because they're going to be at different levels, right? And we're going to have to have everything connected still. So we might have to play with that. This might end up being offset slightly. But step one is just, you know, getting this built. And that's going to take quite a while. A couple of you have had some pretty good suggestions on how I can try to get this stuff a little bit more uh, well-built here, including, well, I can't research this because I don't have the uh, space to, but if I were to put in one of these bridge things, I'd have, <coughs> excuse me, I'd have to put in a uh, another piece of uh, pathway here just to get uh, reached out all the way here. I don't know that I really can at this exact moment in time. So uh, I forget off the top of my head who suggested that. I don't think it's going to be a very viable uh, building technique at this exact moment unless I figure something else out. So that's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to figure out. So I think what we might end up having to do is just, uh, since obviously none of this has had anything put in, Probably the best thing to do is just going to be to build down into here with some walkways. Because I think if I have this come this way, I know eventually we're going to run out of steam for getting our, our dudes around here. But I think I can at least get a little bit further out here. Go ahead and turn on our turbo speed. I can at least get these guys building most of this. And then I think they can reach almost everything else but we have quite a bit of wood we're going to need to build this obviously we have several thousand stored up yeah we're, we're in good shape this is going to continue to grow and we're just going to have to kind of be vigilant about making sure we're not wasting wood doing anything else bearing in mind that this is by most standards a colossal waste of wood and i could have just built a whole bunch of engines as a couple of you have pointed out in the comments which is a perfectly valid way to play. Just uh, don't think that's going to be the way I want to really do too much with right now. So one thing that I wanted to try before we got into our uh, drought cycle 
is to replace this with a floodgate. And the reason for doing that is so we can kind of modulate our water flow here. And you'll notice that the water is going to be flowing through this, if I can get this to actually, a, you know, go. Now you can kind of actually, it, it's, it's lower, but the water is actually moving. So I think if we were to, well, now this is really low, so I hope this actually gets built before. Yeah, there we go. We're going to go ahead and put it all the way up just because it's uh, supposed to be a drought. And we want this to flood a little bit, but if this gets high enough and then we're actually able to, during a, uh, during a wet season, get this water flowing fast enough, we can actually have water wheels in here. So you, you can see how fast this is moving. That should definitely be enough. Although the water level goes down considerably, this should be enough to get us uh, going pretty well with our uh, power generation. And yes, it would be better if we had a double wide. So I think what we're going to do is uh, first off, we'll go ahead and put this back up to 1.5 so we don't lose any more water. We're going to dynamite out as a test. I believe this entire back section here, make this too wide for this very small segment and kind of use that as a test. If we can fit a double wide, double wide uh, power wheel, water wheel, whatever you want to call it in here. Okay, now it's actually flooding. So we'll have to put it down to one, I think. Yeah, it can be kind of dangerous to play with water dynamics like this, but if we uh, if we make this too wide throughout most of the uh, most of the run, I think it'll be fine. Okay, they can't build this because it's too far away, so we'll have to put in a little bit of a path here. We'll get rid of that at some point. So I think our happy medium here is actually this single height. We might have to turn this into a double high something. We'll uh, we'll get there when we get there. We'll figure something out. Let's uh, put this in, and then of course send this down. Now the problem with putting the double wide water wheels in here is, of course, we have this power shaft, and I don't think it's going to want me to be able to put anything in here unless I have it up higher again, which is kind of uh, kind of defeats the purpose uh, just a little bit. All right, somebody go finish that so I can light this whole thing up. All right, so we still have a little bit of water that can fill our little canal thing here. So you can see there's actually still a little bit of water going through it, which we're going to try to get a little bit higher. I can already hear some of you saying, but wait, it's open on this end. And you would be absolutely correct. It is open on this end. And there's not really much I can do about that right now because of how I have this set up. I would have to end up kind of tearing some of this down. And I don't think I really want to do that right now. I think that would cause more problems than it would solve. But we do have this set up here. If I can get the game not to lag. Obviously, when you have a channel like this, you want your large water wheel to be completely submerged as much as possible. It's it's just not going to work for this specific uh, iteration here unless I were to put in a third uh, three-wide thing here. But again, I just, I just don't think that's going to work. I think if I put in the regular compact water wheel on top of this, it should. If I have this actually connect to something. Or if I'm just kind of dumb with how I put this in here. Yeah, it's just not going to work unless I put something else next to it or I have something it can connect to, I think. Obviously, you want these large wheels because even though it says 180 horsepower per CMS horsepower per centimeters, really? I don't know, the measurement units in this game don't really make a lot of sense. Uh, these guys over here, when it's actually turning, 
Each of these can do... I've seen an excess of 400, so I think that's in pretty good shape. Uh, I'll go ahead and pause this guy here. But I think to make a long story short, I think having the large water wheels here is not really going to be super viable unless I make this super wide, which I don't think I really want to do because then that's going to let water get by it. And uh, we don't really want that to happen. I mean, we could try it. I just don't know that it would be super, uh, super effective. I don't know. How much, uh, how much does it cost to build one of these things again? Yeah, that's a lot of material to waste on, I guess. But I know for a fact this guy, because we have all this, uh, these little platforms right here, I know I can always put these guys in and they'd probably do okay. Or we could just chance it with one of these guys. But I'd have to build a uh, another set of these platform things. Then levees on the back side here to hold them up. And that wouldn't get us the full power of the wheels anyway because it's, you know, not going to work like that. The other option we have is to reroute the power here because of how these buildings are set up. We can come in here and we can actually take it out of this channel. Boy, this is really slowing down. We can have it come out of this channel and kind of parallel here, which would take a substantially longer amount of time to accomplish, but could actually be for purposes of actually building this the right move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into slower speed. We're going to try it. We are going to see if we can make this work. Because experimenting is fun. It's always interesting to see what kind of challenges you can solve with something like this. So to that end, uh, let's see. I think I have to delete... Yeah, we're going to want it to come back up from before here. I actually want this one to come up like that. And then we're going to have to put in one of these. Actually, no, I need to I need to go one, one step further back. It's hard to see when I have all this stuff turned off. I need this to come up twice and then make a turn. Yeah, so we need to get rid of this one again, and then we go up from there. We'll put in one of these guys. We'll put in another one of these guys, and then we'll put in a double high. Then we'll put in a... Actually, for the sake of that, we'll do that, and we'll do that just in case. We'll have this guy go here. And then we'll do another one of these things across the road. Pop that right there. What this is going to do again is going to open this channel up for our double high things. Water wheels. And let's see how many we can fit here. Because if I do it this way, we have a double wide channel. And then I think this should work put in wheels like this and that should line up perfectly and it does we get three more right there and we can actually go ahead and put in just like that and that should actually connect quite nicely it gives us three more gives us a little bit more power generation it should work uh i'm hoping it doesn't have any other <laughs> any other problems but, uh, oh, I forgot this is too deep, so this actually needs to have another cutout here. I wonder if that would have any adverse effect on the... Maybe. So, I, nope, I didn't want that. Let's, let's actually back this up before the corner. Put in one of these. And then we can turn the corner here. 
and then after we turn the corner, put in another one. Nope, not there. Perspective is difficult sometimes. Put that in there. Then we'll do one more. Step it up right here. And then connect everything up. So let's go ahead and put that on turbo speed. And we'll let them build that. That's uh, not going to be a huge interruption to our service because not all of these golems are going to run out of power. And these guys aren't really doing too much right now anyway. We do have some wheat that needs to be ground. I don't think we have uh, cattails hoarded, do we? No? Okay, no, we have 50 of them that could be in the process of getting something done. I believe... Okay, we do have some golems that are out of juice, but we'll get it fixed eventually. They'll be fine. So that should be perfect right there. I believe once we have this stuff all completely put in place, we'll be in very good shape. They're building fast. A lot quicker than I thought they would. I guess that's what happens when you have uh, golems doing it instead of beavers. Uh, how are we looking at them? Okay, now these guys are kind of mad. There's nowhere to charge. Well, there's there's the uh, charging things over here. I guess they can't all use those at the same time. So let's just hope they get this stuff built quickly. Yeah, so these guys are going quite slowly. Well, won't be too long. We can go look at something else in the meantime. Put these all the way back up. So another potential problem with our uh, design here is in a drought, these are going to lower. And part of the reason I wanted this to have so much volume is because I want to minimize the vertical disruption of our water storage as much as I can. So that's why we have all this huge volume here. I haven't seen it in this configuration. I have not seen it drop more than three tiles in a single drought which uh, currently the depth of this is set to. So when this is actually filled with the uh, the new stuff, there's going to be a three high opening right here. It could be too wide depending on what our flow needs are going to be. So if it gets below that, then these power power wheels, water wheels, whatever you want to call them, aren't going to work. So again, that's going to be something we have to come to when we uh, get there. We have a number of different things we can do to try and prevent that. Uh, right now, something we probably should have done a long time ago, actually, is to get rid of some of these barriers in the middle here. Because we really just don't need them. The hardest part about doing this is because we have these paths on top. i got to be very precise at clicking. Which can be, <laughs> can be difficult sometimes. But once this is all separated, this is going to give us a little bit more volume. And we really don't need these to be separate anyway. Boy, it is hard to... Uh, <laughs> it's hard to be able to see all this if you're not in building mode. But I am still going to retain the uh, pathway across the middle here. I think that's important to have. I just don't know how far down I'm going to go with this. Right now that gets us down to three. Which I could easily bridge by putting in more of these triple platforms. I know I don't need all of that. Then we also have these over here. Which we super don't need. And it is very hard to see back in here. Obviously, some of this we can't delete because it's structural to hold up other things. But all this right here, no, that's just impeding flow. And now it looks a little bit better. Yeah, that's an improvement. I think we still want to get rid of as much of this as we can. So I can always just 
build these uh, platforms. Boy, this sure is fun clicking 800 times over and over again. Let's see, if we do it this way, then I'll have a two high and a three high all the way across. And I won't have to spend too much more wood building these things, even though we don't really need too much more. Yeah, we'll just do this way. And then pop our pathway across it as well. And eventually we're going to probably want to put in more of these, these guys right here. I guess if I was really smart, I could have moved, could have moved this entire thing over one, but eh, I'm not that worried about it. It's not likely we'll ever really need too much more water pumping in this district. It's not really going to get that much bigger. We do have 80 free beds, but uh, I don't think that's going to be that big of a problem. All of our golems are angry here because they don't have any power. Yeah. Well, this is not fully complete, which is... Oh, we don't have a path over here. That was silly of me. There we go. Now they can actually finish it. But I do think this is going to work. If this doesn't work, then that's going to be a massive waste of time, and I'm going to feel kind of dumb. But I think it's important to try stuff. Even if it doesn't work perfectly the way you think it should, you might learn something. And that's why we do stuff, right? We like to learn. I just hope they can reach this corner, and they can. Good. We are almost back connected. Just need a couple of those things to get finished. So let's go take a look while we're waiting. Man, these guys are all... They're all having a bad time. How are we doing on wood in this district? We have 100. Okay, so we really... We really need more wood. So we need to be growing some elsewhere. Of course, now all our food is kind of... Oh, we have so much... Oh my god, we have a lot of food. Yeah, we're, we're okay. I don't think we need to be worrying about food. Yeah, this is actually low enough where that floodgate doesn't do anything. So that's a little concerning. Let's see. Uh, another thing I wanted to fix this episode was to put the floodgate for this area on the back side of this part of the map. And since the water is low enough, we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, the reason we want to move it over here is because right here it's presently blocking a, uh, a pathway we might want to use in the future. So just go ahead and replace that and then we can have this go over here and I think yeah once this is actually uh, rebuilt this will allow us to get over to this part of this plateau if we so choose and this will make sure this isn't in the way of anything because no one's going to walk this way anyway so that is good news and another reason for building these uh, water wheels here is because we have the number cruncher that we can now research and will now research. It needs power. It needs 500 horsepower to operate. Uh, this is the building that replaces the observatory that the uh, folktales have. And this solves calculations without beavers operating it. And I think you can build more than one. So we're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy right here. It's going to take them probably a while to build. But should be i don't know why they're building that first come on this is a little more important this power shaft turn right here nope the wrong button we want to no i don't want the power shaft turn i want the platform there we go oh are you serious this is too far from a district really i don't think so they got there before obviously huh there's no reason they can't There is literally no reason. Is that because you have something in the way right here? Like this guy? I 
Hmm. Alright, so that's annoying. I guess we got that out of sequence, which is regrettable, but whatever. What are you, you going to do? Nope, we don't want that one. We want this one. We have to build these in a specific order. Alright. Alright, somebody come do this one. Or I do something stupid here. Do we have enough gears in this district? We sure do. And they're waiting on... Well, we have gears. Are they just in the other district? Yes, they are. Okay. Um, gear production is not paused, so that's not a problem. Alright, somebody... Oh, it's the slow guy. Okay. Alright, well, the drought is almost over anyway, so we're going to see real quick if uh, these wheels will turn as this gets filled back up. Just as soon as that comes back in. Go ahead and uh, preemptively prepare for this. I guess this also needs a little bit of help. Alright, so water will come back in slowly. Alright, that's in place. Let's go ahead and put in our last piece right here. Come on. There we go. Alright, and water coming back in ever so slowly. Remember, we have these gates open, so we really need to make sure we're not having any problems with that. We'll need to keep an eye on that to make sure we don't flood anything. Alright, and... Let's make sure this is filling up. Are these rotating? They are not yet, but I guess the water hasn't really gotten over here. We're rotating. Slowly but we are rotating. We are filling these other things slowly, so once this is all done, we'll have a better picture of how this works. But we are getting a little bit of rotation. Every little bit helps. Plus it also hasn't gotten over here yet. All right, and this is getting closer. I think we can probably pretty soon shut this one. And this one is flowing water in. I can't see. It is not. It's not high enough yet. Okay. All right. This needs to now shut. Should be fine. That should improve our flow here a little bit. So let's watch these go. I guess I like this direction a little more. All right. Come on, water. Do your thing. Can we get all three? All right. It's kind of intermittent, but that's because we haven't lowered this floodgate yet. So if we put this down to zero, we should get a lot of flow. Yeah, now this is really going to start turning. Yeah, look at these numbers. That is excellent, excellent progress. And of course, now this is super low because we have a huge, ridiculous flow rate on our uh, on our stuff here. All right, this is getting fuller. We'll have to make sure we stop this pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll go ahead and cut it off there. Hey, but look how fast these guys are going now. This was a fantastic idea. So if you suggested that we do this with the, uh, the double wides, thank you. This has turned out quite nicely. I think for the rest of the wet season, we're probably going to be just fine having it like this. Uh, as the water works its way through here, this will also help with those guys. But yeah, we have so much more power being generated now. That is fantastic progress. Now we're just waiting on gears. And I don't think we're... Man, this is slow. We're not importing... No, we're not importing gears. So we'll, uh, we'll let those guys... Uh-oh, we're flooding over here. Why are we flooding over here if we're already at zero? That shouldn't be a thing. We probably need to widen this to too wide. I think would be my guess. So let's start that process. Maybe. 
probably have to do this in segments here. Put one more here. I guess I could just uh, do this whole thing while we're here. And then put in a double high right there. So yes, we will end up probably blasting away most of this just to improve our water flow and make sure it doesn't flood ever. Okay, that's looking good. We'll do all this again. Should be able to reach all of these, no problem. How are we looking over here? Still waiting on gears? Yeah, we're halfway there. All right, this should get us a little bit more there. Yep, looking good. Do one more here, and then I want to cut off this hauling post for as little time as possible. We're going to have to be careful. I'm actually going to go ahead and pause this so all the beavers leave, so we don't or the beavers, the golems. So we're going to have to be careful. Let's get these planted. Slowly. These are now turning nicely. How's our progress going over here? Okay, hardly any. That's uh, about what I expected, honestly. But now we have this area here is actually ready to go go so we'll go ahead and get this all set up I don't know why it's skipping so much but that'll get us I think about as far as we're ever gonna have the chance to to get today they're still taking their sweet time with this construction which is understandable this stuff takes forever and a day to accomplish so they have to build one piece at a time uh, we can now go ahead and get rid of these okay these still have some logs we'll leave the pathway in place just because there's really no reason not to have it well I sure hope they can get this going just a little faster how many unemployed beavers do we have in this district? We have five. So we could actually put in another builder's hut if we can find a good location for it. Uh, I've seen a, a number of you comment we need to move these uh, breeding pods. We probably will pretty soon. Let's we'll go ahead and build another uh, builder's hut to keep these guys occupied. Probably just go ahead and build two. We're not really hurting for more beavers. Why do we have two golems in this district? We really shouldn't have any. Uh, okay, get out of here. Go back over there. Yeah, like I was saying, we're probably going to migrate these somewhere else. Just for the sake of this is really prime real estate. And we're going to have to put some other stuff in here. Might end up putting the breeding pods somewhere less important, like maybe over here. We will see what happens as we uh, have to make decisions about that. Okay, we're getting closer with our gears. That's really going to help us get this science up. Okay, let's um, get that done. We'll put in... I guess we'll have to do this in segments again because I wasn't thinking. And I can put in a double high right here. There's really no reason to cover this except I just kind of wanted to. I'll put in that right there. I guess if I wanted to be picky, I could uh, cover this whole thing and probably should, honestly. 
So let's just uh, go ahead and do that just so we have a little bit more space over here. Maybe I can build something that's useful. Okay, this is good to go. All right, put in our double high right here. We can un unpause this, un unpause, but just no, that's just regular pausing. I don't know what I'm saying there. All right, so that's a good improvement there. This path right here is kind of superfluous. We don't really need it. But I also kind of can't uh, demolish anything because I can't get anybody over there except through right here. And if I want to demolish this, I'm going to have to cut off power from all of this stuff, which is... I guess that's actually not that consequential. Except that's what connects this whole uh, power shaft over here. But that's also independently turning, so I guess this stuff would be okay if I temporarily disconnected to widen this. Another, another block? I don't think that's really necessary right now. We're not having any uh, throughput issues, so we'll probably come back to that at another time. Yeah. We'll, we'll mess with that as we have to. I'm not super worried about it. All right, number cruncher is done. And it is, in fact, crunching numbers. Wow, that is substantially faster for science than anything else. That's cool. Yeah, supply is still not outpacing demand, which is concerning. I'll put this back up all the way. Yeah, we still need more. Which is, of course, one of the reasons why I wanted to mess with this. Alright, we still have two unemployed beavers. That's an interesting problem to have. I know this is going to sound insane. We might not have enough trees planted to support building something like this. We just need this to go quite a bit faster. And I know it's going to take forever because they have to go get logs from halfway across the map and carry them over here. But that's also one of the reasons why I have so many builders. We have nine full builder's huts. That is a lot of beavers working construction in a district of... Well, 178 is actually not bad. That's a pretty good amount of builders. But each of these single blocks requires 12 logs. And uh, folks, this is a lot of wood. It is quite a hefty amount of wood but it'll be worth it in the end if that can get a little bit more power to it that's man this is just really chugging along good lord seven fps okay now uh, we need to expand our uh, food storage over here so what i will probably end up doing here I can't build over this because that's farmland. But I can build over this. So let's go ahead and put in a couple of these scaffolds here. Should be able to build on that. And what we'll do is we'll put in another version of our... Uh... Oh, it's not quite... Not quite wide enough. All right, that's okay. That means all we have to do is put in another one of these. Is this too far from a district? Yeah, they're going to complain. But we'll go ahead and put that there. And then what we'll just end up doing is getting rid of that entire row of stuff. And then we'll come over here. I don't know what I want to put. 
I guess I could just put... Uh, not really going to need too many teeth grindstones, but... Eh. I'll put one of those and put a medical bed. And then we'll put in our... I can't build that over a tooth grindstone? Never mind. You get a medical bed. Because I absolutely have to have that over there. Can you tell I like this design? <laughs> it's kind of uh, kind of obvious at this point, isn't it? Nope, I don't want that there. There we go. Put in a couple more of these guys right here. And then I just have to build some sort of a... Uh, That's right, I have to build this out in front. That's right, and then this, uh, this here is going to get interesting, but because of the way we have this constructed, I believe it will work just fine. Yep, that should work very nicely with the minimal amount of stairs. If there's a more efficient way to do that, please let me know. I legitimately can't think of one. I think this is probably about as good as you're ever going to get doing something like this. And then we can just connect these two staircases here. Connect this like so. And then just have all this be connected right like so. And that should take care of a lot of our, uh, our storage problems for a while. Is having this whole thing be a... Let's just make this only, only food. We'll just make this one only carrots. So this is going to be annoying to uh, to do. All right. Make that one only carrots. Make this one also only carrots. Well, this one's not... Okay. I don't know why it was like that. We'll just do only carrots for those bottom couple. And then these tops will be only potatoes, because uh, the wheat, I believe, we don't even end up keeping the wheat long enough to really worry about it. How many potatoes do we have, actually? Oh my god, 2,600 potatoes. Okay. Yeah, we definitely have too many potatoes. In fact, we can probably cool it on the farming. I... I guess I should be keeping better tabs on this stuff. But that problem's solved now. We can just let that automatically complete itself, and we should be completely fine. That is a lot of storage. Now, how are we looking over here? This is still rotating, still looking good. Our uh, flow coming out of here is fine. This isn't flooding, which is always good news. The only problem is these guys are still discharging while we have all of these water wheels. I don't want to burn any logs right now because we are trying to build this enormous stupid thing. Now what do I have actually queued up? I don't think I have anything else. Oh, they're trying to build this area because I didn't mark that as lower priority. Okay, well... I guess they uh, kind of can't, so. We'll just have to uh, ignore most of that for now. As we go along, it's probably going to get a little harder to uh, build, so why don't we give them a little bit of help? Actually, I don't want that to be... Nope. Jeez, what is... game is lagging something fierce. Can't imagine why. But, uh, you know, there's no, there's no reason to, uh, no, I guess that's fine. I'll just put one more uh, set of stairs right here. I mean, it's not even letting me click. All right, if we do that, they should be able to build a lot faster. And I think that's normal priority. Yeah, sure is. That'll give them something to do. Do we still have unemployed beavers? We sure don't. That's a good sign. 
how are we looking over here? We're still still doing okay. How are we looking on our power here? Okay, it's going up a little bit, but we really need that. Ideally, the batteries in a wet season should always be at the top. And in a dry season, should be very slowly descending. So we will uh we'll get there when we get there. These guys just have uh there we go. Yeah, so we're still way down here in terms of actually building infrastructure. So kind of the hard part about this is these guys are going to have to build these two and then just build up one block at a time to get through the rest of this. But this will help go just a little faster. And then we'll get there once it's unpaused. But since we're already like 45 minutes into the episode, I don't think this is really going to have much more meaningful progress today. So since that's looking the way it is, let's just take a quick survey around what else is happening here. Uh, these have finally grown up, and I guess we can be harvesting some chestnuts soon, which is nice. And I think that means we can turn one of these bakeries. Is it the bakeries that make the, uh, yeah, the grilled chestnuts? Yeah, we'll end up, uh, oh, I've got so many beavers that don't, or beavers, golems. I think I can finally start unlocking the stuff, the uh, bakeries for the golems. Yeah, there we go. Let's put our golems to work. There we go, these guys. I said bakeries, those are grills. So we've got that looking good. All right, so I think another thing I wanted to try out, a couple of you suggested we put in one of these Lido's here on the edge of this, which I don't think will work in this sh uh, deep of a depth here, unless it has something to support it, which is... Hmm... Kind of a problem. Will that work on a triple platform? Let's find out. Okay, yeah. So I think as long as the river stays deep enough, it should be fine. I'll give them something to do at least. We really haven't done too much. We haven't even put any temples out, honestly which we should go ahead and research and find a spot for one. I guess the uh, logical thing would be to go kind of right here. Because we know it's accessible and it's also kind of far enough out of the way where it's not going to be too in the way. Then I think we can put another one of these guys over here somewhere. I, I just don't want to take up too much space. That's the problem with stuff like this. Although I guess I could just pop that guy right there and then just extend that. I think that should reach. Yeah, it will. All right, so that takes care of that. Uh, carousels we've not tried. And then, of course, the mud baths. I think next episode is going to finally be the terraforming adventure because we have to build all... We have to... Well, research, first of all. We have to research and build all of these things. And that's going to take quite a long time. I think now we have a number cruncher. It should be a little better. Wondering if I should build another one of these. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and build another one. I don't think... Yeah, I don't need to get back here ever again, I don't think. So we can go ahead and get rid of that. And then just put another one of these guys right next door. Why not, right? I think I can actually kind of layer these eventually. No, no I'm not planning on building a ton. I just need to have something going here. Yeah, it's providing some nice power. Looking good. These are still incredibly low. In fact, they're bottomed out because we have... Yeah, we're still outpacing our demand. That's only going to make it worse. 
and this is looking good. They just haven't finished the scaffolding in the... Uh... Why is these not connected to paths? They're in range. Oh, it's that's not it. It's the ones under our little uh, pathways here. There we go. Now those can finally be taken care of. Um, can I put beaver statues? Yeah, let's put two of those right there. And we haven't even done monuments either. I just haven't had the science to spare, so that's going to be next episode. Terraforming probably next episode. And we'll see if there's a couple other things we can uh, mess with. I was trying to think, is there anything we don't need? We honestly don't need any more golems right now. We have we have so many stinking golems. I think I'm going to pause these for the time being. See if that helped our demand a little bit. So I know we have, we have 12 extra golems right now. They do eventually wear out. And now it's 11. Yeah. Golems breaking down, etc. Do we not have metal blocks over here? We sure don't. Well, that's fine. We have golems that are working in... Oh. Or not working in the smelters, as... One would have it. We have to unlock that for golems. Uh, I don't have enough to make the wood workshop things. We have 400 of these. Is that enough to get? Yes. It's going to be enough to build everything we need for terraforming, so we really don't need these anymore. Oh, we didn't even do control towers. Okay, yeah, let's do that right now. See, uh, oh yeah, look at this. We have so much. Okay, this is huge. Why did I not do this already? So I think if I can find a good spot for this, this is going to be really something. But this uses science as a, a currency? All right, that's uh, kind of strange, but whatever. I guess I can put one here. One there. Just try to find some odd spots that could uh, use it, maybe. I think I want to put one down here. Yeah. Let's put one there. We're going to need a lot of metal, but that's fine. We have plenty to make. I guess I could just put this on top of this guy and probably cover most of the... Yeah. That's what I should have done instead of building that other one. Which I guess we haven't... Okay, no, they've already started putting stuff there. I guess I'll put this as kind of like the crowning achievement, huh? A giant control tower that's kind of <laughs> kind of dystopian. All right. Somewhere over here I can put this. Yeah, that'll get those guys... And then I think I can just put put one over here, because why not? And then one more over here should cover pretty much this entire area, and I know that's going to be a ton of stuff we're never really going to completely build. Now I have in this district, I actually don't. I don't have metal blocks. I sure don't, so 
I'm going to turn these two into wrong button. Golems only. And then we're going to send over a couple of golems. Uh, if I can remember how to get to the migration thing. All right, let's send over two of those guys, which means, of course, we'll have to build a uh, charging station for the golems, which we can then just put kind of right here and right there, occupy those little spots. How are we doing over here? Did they actually build anything? Okay, good. They're making progress slowly. <laughs> well, we'll get those two uh, going right here, get them recharging stations. That should help substantially because there's quite a bit of, uh, of metal we need to be producing here. It looks like the end of this drought is going to come, or end of this drought countdown, excuse me, is going to come right on time for the end of today's episode. Uh, lots of progress, not quite as much as I originally wanted to get to, but I still think we made some good stuff here. We're going to see how these control towers impact the uh, golems. I actually don't have any idea really what these do outside of just they improve the golems. So I know we had to build some over here because we have so many in this district. And we've more or less got almost complete coverage. I guess I could probably put in, put in one more. One more over here, maybe. I just don't know where I'd want to put it. Oh. Okay, well, I can't reach that, but I can reach this. That's actually a perfect spot for it. So that should cover everybody. I think that means we're good. All right, um, these guys are going. These are waiting for metal blocks because, of course, they are. But now these guys are actually able to uh, do their thing. Looking good. We have plenty of log storage in this district despite building this enormous foolishness right here. This is going to take a long time. A very long time. We might actually end up sending some golems over here as well because we have four open jobs. No, these guys are all working. Okay. I'm just uh, hesitant to send golems over here. I guess I should uh, specify we need automatic migration minimum two golems. That way, if these guys were out, they get replaced. I just, I don't know why I never used this before. I always thought it was a, an annoyance, but it seems to be working pretty well. I think we can safely lower our minimum for this district because we have so many golems over there really should not be much of an issue at all. So let's, uh, before this uh, drought comes in, and before we end today's episode, let's go ahead and fill up our reservoirs a little bit more, make sure we're all good to go. And nice and prepared so I don't get caught off guard when I go to record the next episode. So we'll get that going. Go ahead and open this one as well. I can not get the game to stall. There we go. All right. This one is just about there. I want to make sure this is all the way up. And then we will stop it right there. Looks good. This is getting there as well. And there we go. Perfect. That is just full enough. Looking very good indeed. All right. Good stuff. Good progress. Lots to be happy with here. Still waiting on all of the metal blocks for this number cruncher. Very, very slowly. But good progress. And we have temples now, which means, well, injured beavers is going to drag that way down. But... We now have shrines and temples in both uh, districts. Uh, we haven't done any books yet. Something we could look into next episode for sure. 
and then uh, we're going to want to get mud baths and carousels going. Uh, the monuments, of course, are uh, going to have to be probably a couple episodes from now, given the amount of materials those are going to require. We haven't done any shrubs. We haven't put too many roofs on anywhere here. We could probably stand to put a couple more campfires and rooftop terraces. I actually don't know if this district has any rooftop terraces. It might not. We will have to fix that. I actually think I could go ahead and do that right now with uh, where, where are those things right here. Yeah. Put one of those right there on the very top there. And then have this connect like so. Oh, that's actually one level higher than I thought it was. Okay. Not ideal, but... Oh boy, that's a... That's a fun one right there. <laughs> Gonna have to have this uh, connect weirdly again. Okay. That's fine. And then I believe I can go ahead and put in, since we already have these here... I know I said it was just about to be done, but I can't resist... Squeezing in a couple more things just for some extra efficiency. I think I can fit another uh, rooftop terrace right here. Yes, I sure can. Cool. That is a big help. Now, what in the world is... Okay, now that went away. All right. Now we're actually, actually done with today's episode. We'll go ahead and get that back down to normal speed so the game doesn't have two frames every second. But yeah, lots accomplished today. We got these water wheels in. We got Number Cruncher going. Added some more storage over here, and that is a lot of storage. Made a little tiny bit of progress on this uh, nonsense right here. It's going to be cool if I can get what I want to work to work the way I want it. It's going to be something cool. It's going to take a couple more episodes probably, but that should be fun. And we've improved our lives for our beavers in a couple of different ways. We've got Lots more to come. Next videos, hopefully, if I have time. Uh, next one will come out tomorrow. If not, it'll be out Thursday. Uh, this video goes up on Tuesday. So if you're watching later, sorry. <laughs> That's not going to be not gonna be super accurate relative times and dates here. But yeah, lots of good stuff. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You have so much time you can spend every day and choosing to spend a little bit of it here with me watching uh, some pixelated beavers run around and build post-apocalyptic things. You know, it's fun. I'm glad you uh, chose to spend some time with me. As always, it's very, very, very much appreciated. And as always, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, uh, want to talk about the game or anything like that, feel free to drop a comment below. I read all of them. I respond when I can and when there's something relevant for discussion for the game or the video in question. And uh, just have a good time talking about the game and hanging out with you guys. You are a very, very supportive community, and I really appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time out of your day. Again, just spend a little bit of it with me. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And until we see you in the next video, stay safe. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.